All right, we're leaving our hotel at uh, Guasabi. Whoa, what are you doing there, buddy? That was interesting. Downtown Wasabi. It's like guacamole and wasabi combined. Guasabi. Watch yourself. All right, getting back on the highway. Got a guy delivering some uh, styrofoam. Boy, we'll be bump. All right, today's route looks like this. We're still in the state of Sinaloa, and this morning we left the small farm town of Guasave. We'll ride through the larger city of Los Mochis, and then here to the port town of Topo Lobampo. From there, we're going to catch the overnight ferry, taking us from Sinaloa over to La Paz, which is just north of Cabo in Baja, California, Sur. Okay, we're in the town of Los Mochis. So we're considering whether we want to stay here, which is just the kind of typical town we've already seen a bunch of. Or if you want to go down to that port and it's a little, it's supposed to be really beautiful views. Uh, we shall see. So Los Mochis is actually where they captured El Chapo the last time he was captured before he was extradited to the U.S. And now he's in prison in the U.S. So this is where he was hiding out here in Los Mochis. At 4.30 this morning, Mexican Special Forces closed in on one of El Chapo's houses in the city of Los Mochis in his home state of Sinaloa. There was a shootout. Five people were killed, all on El Chapo's side. Six were arrested. A Mexican Marine was wounded. Mexican officials say the drug lord had a lot of firepower near him. Captured in the raid, a rocket launcher, eight rifles, two armored vehicles. Our mission is to find that house you just saw on the news clip. And it's right here to my right. Definitely not a fancy neighborhood by any means. Yeah. Uh, right there where that white truck is in front of it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just do a quick uh, U-turn and then get back on that street. Our mission is obviously we don't want to be so uh, obvious and piss off some kind of uh, folks, local folks. There's been several news articles written about the house and stuff, so I don't think it's anything people don't know. So, but yeah, quite interesting that it's, uh, it was in this neighborhood. And I believe the walls and stuff are still all boarded, boarded up. Uh, looking at the left here where it's all broken down and whatnot. Interesting. And then they found this. A light chain inside a closet that unlocked an unusual panel behind this mirror, revealing a hidden door and El Chapo's escape route. And he almost managed to get away. Fleeing through wood panel tunnels, El Chapo made it several blocks underground to the city's storm sewers before he was finally arrested. The government said it had been watching the house for weeks. And there's like bullet holes and stuff throughout the window and walls on the walls and stuff you can actually see so those black marks are all bullet holes and stuff here i'm a bit nervous about the people looking at us from across the street so i try to get juan's attention to get out of here asap you can check on my map, huh? that way let's go all right well that was the house we probably could have explored a bit more. We maybe even could have gone inside since all the doors were still busted down, but we didn't want to piss off the wrong people. So we quickly left the area. So a nice little town park, plaza. 
It's like a crepe situation. This is a crepe stand that we found. Juan wants to grab a snack. Okay. 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 No, no gracias. <laughs> okay, we're heading to Topolo Pampo or something like that. It's where the the ferry boat is. It's about a 30-minute ride from Los Mochis to Topolo Pampo. What do we got here? Policia on guard. What are they looking at this field for? Interesting. Very interesting. All right, looking quite nice. I don't know if you can see the moon right there. Looks like a close to a full moon. And that side, we got the nice sunset. Very nice. Getting close to uh, Topo Chico, Topo Lampo. giving you a nice view of the sunset here for a minute. We're trying to find this hostel where we're going to stay for the night, but it, it's a bit hard to find. Looking for a sign or something. I think this may be it, I don't know. The girl who works at the hostel was very nice. She even offers to show us her favorite local spot for dinner. She actually says it's the most famous place in town. This is crazy, dude. We're here with Melody. We're here, we're gonna get some hot dogs. She recommends this place, it's like the number one place in this town, the hot dog stop. Okay, look at this thing. Good. <laughs> So we're here in Topo Lobampo, Topo Lobampo, and it's on the west coast of mainland Mexico. It's a port city, important for connecting Baja with the mainland. It's an eight hour ferry. In a moment, I'll show you how hilly it gets. You can get an idea of some of the kind of sidewalks and things. Oh, yeah, another thing I've noticed, a ton of cats everywhere. And this is just like tons and tons of cats and chickens and roosters. But you can see out here is kind of the bay and it's really a cool sight with the mountains. Okay, gracias. So this guy here looks like he's stringing out his net. You can see here, and he's working his uh, net to get it all untangled. All right, all right. 
we're going to go exploring for the day on the bikes. You can see the semi trucks lining up for the different cargo ships that go in and out of the port, but our ferry doesn't leave until the evening, so we have several hours to explore before we need to get back in line for the ferry. Beautiful surroundings, look at this. We're going to go check out um, kind of a little beach area just outside of uh, just outside of town. There's supposed to be another little community that's really, really small, but it's on the beach, so we're going to check that out. Oh wow. A lot of people fishing. All right, after leaving that little beach community there, I don't even know if it was a community, it was just a couple of restaurants. A few hours later, and it's about time to board the ferry. All right, here's the big ferry. Another checkpoint. Uh, Joshua Post, Post, uh, Joshua, Josue. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, we're continuing on to the next station. Next station stop. There are about four or five station stops. First we tell our names, and then they check our temperature. Buenas noches. Then we have to weigh the bikes, then we show our tickets, then we have to go inside of a building to show the tickets again to another person, then we can finally board the ferry. Okay, gracias. I'll give you the general ticketing background as we make our way through this check-in process. We bought tickets in advance, which were about 2,900 pesos each, or about $150. That includes taking the motorcycle. It's cheaper if you go just as a passenger without the motorcycle, and for that it would be about half the cost. And obviously it would be more expensive if you're bringing a car or a truck. And if you want to upgrade to a sleeper cabin, that's about $100 more on your ticket. Regrettably, we did not splurge for the sleeper cabin. See? You can park beside that bike there. Okay. And finally, we're able to take the bikes onto the ship. Next, you have to strap down your motorcycle to the deck. We knew this in advance, so we brought our own straps, which you are required to bring. They give you some food as you come on board. And we're off. We leave the port of Topo Lobampo and settle in for our eight hour ride across the Sea of Cortez. Again, here's the typical seating area for peasants like us. And then these are the cabins, which are probably well worth the hundred dollars extra, but we're cheap. So we go all night without sleep. All right, so it's 5 a.m. on this uh, ferry. I've had absolutely no sleep at all. Getting closer, I think about another hour. What will be nice is when the sun comes up and you can actually see the ocean and stuff. 
but I can actually see a little bit of land in the bright moonlight uh, far off in the distance ahead of us. I was amazed by how closely they could pack in these tractor trailers. Check this out. And we made it. We say goodbye to a couple other bikers who we met on board. And then we have to go through several more checkpoints as we exit through the port security. All right, next station stop. We got these guys checking our license and registration. Gracias. Now they're checking all of our stuff, searching stuff. Interesante. Ropa, sí. Zapatos. Okay. Gracias. Luckily, I'm traveling like a homeless vagabond, which means I don't raise any red flags during the check. Finally, we are able to exit the port area, and we're free. Thank you. Our first stop, after an all-night with no sleep, we stop at a beach and soak in the fact that we've made it to Baja. This is where we always wanted to ride. In fact, this was the whole purpose of buying the motorcycles in the first place. So we feel pretty good that we've arrived. Next episode, we're going to explore more of La Paz and Cabo. Thanks for watching.